Hello everyone and welcome to the blind playthrough of Portal 2. So excited to jump right into this one after recently completing the first game on the channel which was like starting off as just like a nice fun puzzle experience but then it became something more. Uh, it evolved into some sort of creepy weird dynamic where we ended up rebelling against the the AI computer system controlling the whole uh, the whole lab aperture labs uh, we got the portal gun and we escaped but it came at a price we destroyed the computer system and made it to the surface only to be dragged away before getting a nice little jingle of a of a credits roll uh, at the end of it and I just had to jump right into Portal 2 immediately to see how it picks up and how it continues. Uh, it was obviously a shorter game, the first Portal. I am aware that this one is a bit more of a longer actual proper game. So I'm super excited to jump in. And I am also aware that there is a single player and a co-op campaign uh, to this game. So we are going to be playing the single player campaign first, but that does not mean I won't play a co-op campaign later down the line as well. We'll just have to see how we go. But for now, let's jump in to a single player experience and start a new game in Portal 2 and see what it's all about. Chapter 1, The Courtesy Call. Let's play. Let's see what it's all about. I love that the main menu has a step up from like Portal and Half-Life as well. Good morning. You have been in suspension for 50 days. In compliance with state and federal regulations, all testing candidates in the Aperture Science Extended Relaxation Center must be revived periodically for a mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look up at the ceiling. Good. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, Look down at the floor. Good. This completes the gymnastic portion of your mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. There is a framed painting on the wall. Please go stand in front of it. Oh, this is so bizarre. Okay, so we've got a bit of an, bit of an upgrade uh, to how the game feels and how it looks, like uh, how I just said. There is said. a framed painting on the wall. Please go stand in front of it. I just said even the main menu is different. That's cool. This is art. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, stare at the art. You should now feel mentally reinvigorated. <laughs> if you suspect staring at art has not provided the required intellectual sustenance, reflect briefly on this classical music. <laughs> okay. Now please return to your bed. I'm just, I need to see if there's a way for me to... Closed captioning, subtitles only, full captions, none. But I put subtitles only and it still has the buzzer. Hopefully that's not full closed captions. I'm hoping it's not full closed captions. We'll just have to see. Otherwise I will just have to... I will just have to deal with it. I'm getting more of a... This is really interesting because before playing Half-Life uh, and Portal on the channel, my only experience with Valve games is Left 4 Dead. I've only played Left 4 Dead 1 and 2 a really long time ago, like over a decade ago. Um, this is much more like how like the feel of like Left 4 Dead's sort of engine works, I guess, where it has like the information pointing to a place and it pops up like this. Uh, it, it gives me Left 4 Dead vibes uh, instead of like what I've come to know on the channel with, with Half-Life. Uh, so we've been in suspense, not stasis, just we've been in suspense for 50 days and then we get woken up and we're like, hey, stretch your legs, stare at a painting, listen to some classical music, go back to sleep. Interesting start. These games do start in a very interesting manner. Nine, Hello? Anyone in there? Hello? Are you going to open the door? At any time? Huh. I know that voice. Are you going to open this door? Because it's, fa it's fairly urgent. Huh. I'll just open the door! That's too message. Hello, friend. Why not open the door? And write us a letter. Could be Spanish. Could be Spanish. Hola, amigo. Abre la puerta. Donde esta? No. Um. Fine. No. Fine. Absolutely fine. 
It's not like I don't have, you know, 10,000 other test subjects begging me to help them escape. You know, it's not like this place is about to explode. Huh. All right, look, okay, I'll be honest. You're the last test subject left, and if you don't help me, we're both going to die. All right, I didn't want to say it. There you go. You've dragged it out of me. All right, dead. Dos muerte. Open the door. <laughs> Hello. Ah. ah! Oh, God. You look... Te um... Good. Oh. Me. Are you okay? How are you? Don't answer that. I'm absolutely sure you're fine. There's plenty of time for you to recover. Just take it. Slowly. Please prepare for emergency evacuation. You're not a person. Stay calm. Stay calm. Prepare. It's all he's saying. Prepare. It's all fine. All right. Don't move. I'm going to get us out of here. Oh, you might want to hang on to something. Word of advice. Up to you. <laughs> what the fuck? You all right down there? Can you hear me? Hello? Most test subjects do experience some uh, cognitive deterioration after a few months in suspension. Now, you've been under for quite a lot longer, and it's not out of the question that you might have a very minor case of serious brain damage. Very minor case but of serious alarmed, brain damage. All right? uh, although, if you do if you do feel alarmed, try to hold on to that feeling, because that is the proper reaction to being told that you've got brain damage. Do you understand what I'm saying at all? Does any of this make any sense? Just tell me. Just say yes. Speak. Okay, what you're doing there is jumping. Uh, you just you just jumped. But never mind. Say apple. Apple. But you... Okay, you know what? That's close enough. Just hold tight. <laughs> what? All reactor core safeguards are now non-functional. Please prepare for reactor core meltdown. Uh... Okay, look, I wasn't going to mention this to you, but I'm in pretty hot water here. How are you doing down there? Um... Holding on. The reserve power ran out, so of course the whole relaxation center stops waking up the bloody test subjects. Hold on, this is a bit tricky. And of course, nobody tells me anything. No, why should you tell me anything? Why should I be kept informed? You know, about the life functions of the 10,000 bloody test subjects I'm supposed to be in charge of. Why? It's close. Can you see? Am I going to make it through? But I love space. What the fuck? Uh, just, just got to get through here. Okay, I just got to concentrate. And whose fault do you think it's going to be when the management comes down here and finds 10,000 flipping vegetables? Alright, so now I hit that one. I hit that one. What in the okay, hell? So we should get our story straight, alright? If anyone asks, and no one's going to ask, don't worry, but if anyone asks, Tell them as far as you know, the last time you checked, everyone looked pretty much alive. Alright? Not dead. Okay, almost there. On the other side of that wall is one of the old testing tracks. There's a piece of equipment in there that we're going to need to get out of here. I, I think this is a docking station. Get ready. The portal gun? Oh my god. This is ridiculous. Is, that is not a docking station. <laughs> mystery solved. Uh, I'm going to attempt a manual override on this wall. Could get a bit technical. Hold on. Almost there. Remember, you're looking for a gun that makes holes. Not bullet holes. But don't worry, you'll figure it out. Seriously, do hold on this time. What the hell is going on? There we go. Now, I'll be honest, you are probably in no fit state to run this particular type of cognitive gauntlet. But, um, at least you're a good jumper. <laughs> so, you got that, you got the jumping on your side. Um, just do your best, and I'll meet you up ahead. Okay. Alright, let's, let's pause. Let's pause, because this, this starts and just jumps the gun immediately. Let's re let's collect some thoughts right now. Um, so we've got Wheatley over here. Um... Who I was expecting to be a person is not a person. Is robot. Uh, same type of robot that the previous, uh, the the female robot from Portal One has, and we we dropped them all in the incinerator at the end. I don't know if it's the same. It seems like it might be the same. Um, 
very interesting. We found, we saw a calendar in the first game that said it was in the 80s, if that calendar was accurate. It was like September 1980 something. Uh, so if it's been some time, quite some time, not just stasis for 50 days when everything looked nice, but just a long time, I don't know when this is going to be. So that's very curious, but it's clearly been a long time. Everything looks crazy. Everything looks messed up. So that's very cool. I can't wait to find out what's actually happened here since uh, since Portal 1. Uh, and I will state uh, right now, don't tell me. I don't want to know. Don't comment. It's been such and such years since this. I don't want to know. I will, I'm going to try and theorize and find out during the game. It's not exciting when you tell me the answer throughout the playthrough. Just keep that in mind. Whenever I ask questions, they're rhetorical. They're for me. So you know what I'm thinking. Not for the, you to give me the answer. So we're going to go and find the portal gun. All right. I'll be here. Good luck. Hello. And again, welcome to the Aperture Science Enrichment Center. <laughs> we are currently experiencing technical difficulties due to circumstances of potentially apocalyptic significance beyond our control. However, thanks to emergency testing protocols, testing can continue. These pre-recorded messages will provide instructional and motivational support so that science can still be done, even in the event of environmental, social, economic, or structural collapse. The portal will open, and emergency testing will begin in three, two, one. Wow. What do I look like? Am I the same person? Am I the same? I'm the same character? from Portal 1? I look like I'm the same character from Portal 1. Interesting. So at the end of the first game, I made it to the surface, but was dragged away at the end of it, and then what, like, just shoved back into a stasis room and put into suspense, I suppose. And now we're running the exact same course. Except there's no bed here this time. Oh, that's interesting. Slightly different. There's no cake at the end. It's uh, instead death by razor blades. Good to know. Still 19, but no cake at the end. They've uh, they've changed in the uh, in the time since I've been here last. Ooh, that's a new looking door too. Cube and button based testing remains an important tool for science, even in a dire emergency. Oh, this is so weird. If cube and button based testing caused this emergency. Don't worry. The odds of this happening twice are very slim. This is so weird because I... Ugh, it's just... Everything's very fresh for me right now. I literally just played the first game. <laughs> like... Now, the incandescent particle field across the exit. This Aperture Science Material Emancipation Grill will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through. Okay, so the announcer has now changed. It's now a male voice instead of a female voice that we had last time. Uh, same... Same, but different sort of location. Oh, this is so confusing. I can't wait. I cannot wait to play more of this already. I'm just like chomping at the bit right now. Aperture Labs. What are you guys doing with Borealis as well? If you feel liquid running down your neck, relax, lie on your back, and apply immediate pressure to your temples. <laughs> You are simply experiencing a rare reaction in which the material emancipation grill may have emancipated the ear tubes inside your head. Great. Lesson number one. Oh my god. Oh, actually, no, this is different. This is new. Okay. A different type of... It's a different type of one, but it's all messed up. This is so crazy. Oh, oh no, this isn't di- uh, Is it different? I don't know if it's different. I think this room's similar. I can't throw. Okay. Okay. We did a similar puzzle to this in the first game. A similar one. It didn't involve pressing the buttons, though. They were just on an automatic timer. Good. Because of the technical difficulties we are currently experiencing, 
Your test environment is unsupervised. Before re-entering a relaxation vault at the conclusion of testing, please take a moment to write down the results of your test. An Aperture Science Reintegration Associate will revive you for an interview when society has been rebuilt. When society has been rebuilt? What the hell? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh man, Valve really know how to do a sequel. If the Earth is currently governed by a manner of Animal King, Semian Cloud, or other governing body that either refuses to, or is incapable of listening to it. Huh. Animal King takeover. Well, as this, as I am aware that Portal and Half-Life are linked, and we did see that Black Mesa PowerPoint in Portal 1, um, I can assume if we have gone forward in time that we should be or maybe around the time that the Combine have taken over? I don't know how close Aperture and Black Mesa is location-wise, but clearly close enough to be at in sort of competition with each other. How interesting. So we're going to get like Aperture Lab's sort of perspective on the current state of the world, I suppose. You made it! There should be a, a portal device on that podium over there. I, I remember this room it, too. Maybe it fell off. Oh! oh. Hello? <sighs> Can you see the portal gun? Follow. Also, are you alive? <laughs> That's Should have asked that first. I'm, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to work on the assumption that you're still alive, and I'm just going to wait for you up ahead. Okay. I'll wait, I'll wait one hour, then I'll come back. And assuming I can locate your dead body, I'll bury you. All right, brilliant. Go team. See you in an hour, hopefully. If you're not dead. All right, big fan of the dialogue. It's funny. It's it's very humorous. I like it. I do love a robot with personality. That's kind of like one of my favorite tropes: is a robot with uh, with personality. This, however. Oh, yes, this is very good. Yes, that's a great sort of experiment you have there, Jarvis. That's the that's the big computer with the with the voice, with the, all the different personality orbs. Great idea to do that one. Well done, Jarvis. Okay, so that's the thing from the end of the first game, with all of the bunch of the personality orbs that we incinerated. Uh, however, then everybody kind of choked to death. Everybody choked to death. Um, hey look, that's me! With my weird legs. And we destroyed the thing. And then someone has a companion cube. It's like a mural of history that happened with... Uh, okay, there's more. Person holds portal gun. That's me, like, ascending to the surface. As you can see there. And now I am a god and worshipped as one. Okay. I, I feel pretty confident that we are the same character from the first game based on our appearance and based on this sort of mural work. How bizarre. Okay. Interesting. So we found her at the end of the first game. Everything's all good and sunny. Everyone's happy downstairs. We destroy it. Everything goes crazy. It has very negative side effects. We destroy the thing. It's not so good anymore. We ascend to the surface and then I don't know what that mural means. It doesn't look very negative. It looks very interesting. And then we've got moon phases written on the top. Very, very interesting. Can I create... Oh, I can't create a, uh, an orange portal yet. Okay, only the blue one. This is fascinating. Valve really knows how to do a sequel, which is just insane. Like, you have Half-Life 1, which is amazing. It's such a cool and fun game in itself. And you have Portal, which is a, a very short and sweet little puzzle adventure with some creepy undertones to it. And then... Oh, that's really cool. It marks out the portals. Uh, and then you have 
Half-Life 2, which just really escalates things, like, incredibly well. Like, it blew me away, and, like, the, the amount of the stuff that is in that game still blows me away, thinking about it. Um, and then they've just done the same thing immediately with, with Portal 2, like, straight off the bat. You almost get, like, you just get that feeling of just um, how much they're able to elevate the original experience. This is, this is so much fun. Uh, not just, like, so far I'm having a lot of fun but it's like taking in the events um, that have happened it's one of my favorite things of what Valve are capable of is their uh, environmental storytelling is so so appealing to me I'm a really big fan of being able to like take um, an indirect story and try and piece it together and theorize it and like take it as it comes and just being in this constant state of like what the hell's going on and it's always being like dragged along by a string through the story. Some emergency testing may require prolonged interaction with lethal military androids. Rest assured that all lethal military androids have been taught to read and provided with one copy of the laws of robotics to share. To share? One copy to share? Oh my fucking this is so funny. <laughs> No alert when I break the equipment? Okay. I need a... Oh, hang on. Yeah. There we go. Go back through here. Good. If you feel that a lethal military android has not respected your rights as detailed in the laws of robotics, please note it on your self-reporting form. A future Aperture Science Entitlement Associate will initiate the appropriate grievance filing paperwork. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh man, this is good. This is good, okay. How interesting that it's like the same but different, where you still navigate your way through the... Get the portal gun, navigate your way through the... Like the, the course. This next test is very dangerous. To help you remain tranquil in the face of almost certain death, smooth jazz will be deployed in three, two, one. Oh my god. Okay, this is good. This is great. It's been, I've said this time and time again as well in many different video games that I'm a huge fan of video game graphic design and advertisements and all that kind of stuff. I really like art direction in video games. Uh, it's like... It doesn't matter how good your graphics are if you don't have good art direction at the end of the day. Like, games can have not very good graphics, but the art direction will carry it into the top f of the list for me. And I love games with a good art direction. Bioshock is a great example of one of those. Um, there's a, just, like, too many games to really list uh, off the bat right now. But games that have really good, just, like, visual, striking visuals really pull me in. Just how it, like, talks about all of this. It's very easy on the eyes um, and leads to a very engaging experience. Like, the like just even the the portal logo on the doors for example is very interesting um i'm i'm really liking this really really liking this okay i need a thing yeah it's, this is the same room like i said this is like it's so weird because i just did this i literally played the first portal and it's everything is so very fresh in my mind right now that just running through the same areas is hilarious it's just the same course. It's so strange, dude. Um, I need another one. Thank you. Great work. Because this message is pre-recorded. Any observations related to your performance are speculation on our part. Please disregard any undeserved compliments. <laughs> this is also really good that it's just like, I really liked the personality of the first, uh, the first one as well. I'm not sure what, if it has a, usually, you know, your AIs or your robots do have like a name or anything like that. So I'm not sure. Um, and it looks like we've got a, a new one with uh, a new one with this dude at the moment. Oh, I remember this one. Yeah. <laughs> okay. 
new robot unlocked because we destroyed the old one. I also don't know what our character's name is. Unreason. Cat box. Cat. Bunch of symbols. Hey look, it's a f there's finally actually a computer with a monitor for the first time. Every time we were walking through in Portal 1, there was just a bunch of keyboards everywhere and, and desktops. Uh, but there was no monitors. <laughs> there were just these on the screen. Okay. Uh, where are we going from here this way? Remember your evacuation training. Jump on the spot, apparently. I just really wonder if this is going to be, like, how this is going to go. Is it going to... Are we just going to go through the whole course again? If the Enrichment Center is currently being bombarded with fireballs, meteorites, or other objects from space, please avoid unsheltered testing areas wherever a lack of shelter from space debris does not appear to be a deliberate part of the test. So Valve, uh, Valve are really good with their sound design as well. So good with their sound design. Always iconic sound effects. Oh, hang on. They've changed the they've changed the reticle. Usually in, in Portal One, when it was like a solid blue instead of a, just an outline of a blue, you could use a portal. Um, now I can't. Hang on. Um, oh, it just doesn't change now. That's actually a little bit of a little bit of a downgrade from the first one. In the first game, you could just, you'd know when you could shoot and make a portal. Now it's not clear. Interesting. Give me a cube. Can I have a cube? Oh. Oh, it's over there. Cube. Nice. Cube for stairs. Okay, got it. Now I need another cube. What are these two? Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, I see. I see why we want to put the bridge up now. <laughs> okay, that makes sense. Perfect. I don't remember this room. This is a maybe a little bit different now. I wonder if it's going to start to deviate. Well done. The Enrichment Center reminds you that although circumstances may appear bleak, you are not alone. All Aperture Science personality constructs will remain functional in apocalyptic, low-power environments of as few as 1.1 volts. No matter what, you will be, you will have your funny robot friends with you. No matter what. That's good to know. Okay, so we've got the announcer, we've got Wheatley. Please remain calm. This next test applies the principles of momentum to movement through portals. If the laws of physics no longer apply in the future, God help you. to take this with me down into the thing, right? You're coming with me, boy. Let's go. There you go. If you are a non-employee who has discovered this facility amid the ruins of civilization, welcome. And remember, testing is the future. And the future starts with you. Thank you. 
Yes, I, I work here. I'm a huge employee of the place. Uh, okay. Where do I want to end up? I want to end up... There? Oh god. Rotated. It definitely helps that I was literally just playing Portal today. <laughs> so I'm like already in the zone. It helps a bunch. Now... Oh, alright, I see. I wanna... Hmm. Feels like I'd want to momentum myself through a glass panel. Now, let's bring this down. I'm liking the, I'm liking the music. Alright, let's just... Let's momentum ourselves over there with this guy. Oh, cool. We don't have to break any glass. I was wondering if you'd have to, like, drop it and make it, like, momentum through the glass. We just have to do that. Okay. Let's go. Nice. Good work getting this far, future starter. Future that said, starter. if you are simple-minded, old, or irradiated in such a way that the future should not start with you, <laughs> please return to your primitive tribe and send back someone better qualified for testing. This is really good, really good dialogue. It's just very constantly like quippy with like robot humor, but it's it's funny. It's not like I don't think it's over the top. It's very fitting for like this type of game. I quite enjoy to it a lot. That sufficient power remains for core testing protocols. All safety devices have been disabled. The enrichment center respects your right to have questions or concerns about this policy. Yeah. Not only is it like, uh. An AI with a personality, but yeah, quippy and funny, and the dialogue is good. It's very humorous, but in a way where, like, it feels appropriate. Hey! Oi, oi! I'm up here! I'm alive! Oh, brilliant! You did find a portal gun! Oh, the... Do you know what? It just goes to show, people with brain damage are the real heroes in the end, aren't they, at the end of the day? Brave. Pop a portal on that wall behind me there, and I'll meet you on the other side of the room. Okay. Just pop a portal right behind me there, and come on through to the other side. Come on through! Okay, okay. I'm on my way, bud. Okay, listen, let me lay something on you here, it's pretty heavy. They told me never, never, ever to disengage myself from my management rail, or I would die. But we're out of options here, so get ready to catch me, alright, on the off chance that I'm not dead the moment I pop off this thing. Okay, I'm Hold ready. Three. Ready? One. Two. Three! That's high. It's it's too high, isn't it, really? That. <laughs> Alright, going on three just gives you too much time to think about it. Let's uh, go on one this time. Okay, ready? One. Catch me, get out! No! <laughs> I'm not dead! I'm not dead! <laughs> Plug me into that stick on the wall over there, yeah? And I'll show you something. You'll be impressed by this. This is great. Um, yeah, I can't do it if you're watching. <laughs> Seriously, I'm not, I'm not joking. Can you just turn around for a second? All right, you can turn around now. Bam! Secret panel. That I open while your back was turned. Pick me up. Let's get out of here. I need to. Uh, I know who this. I know who this guy is, but I, I can't. Um, pick. Would you pick me up? I can't pick the the name. To the voice straight away but i know whose voice this is so funny love this dude just unfortunately pulling a blank on the old voice right now no rail to tell us where to go oh this is brilliant we can go wherever we want just hold on though where are we going seriously hang on let me just get my bearings um just follow the rail actually <laughs> no rails follow the rail <laughs> great i've got a i've got a Funny little robot to carry around with me now is going to constantly be uh, filled with oh, no. one-liners. Oh yes. no. Hello, no, we're not stopping. Don't make eye contact, whatever you do. No, thanks, we're good. Appreciate it. Keep moving, keep moving. The, tur the turrets really fascinate me. 
the turrets really fascinate me. They did in the, the first game too, with how they talk to you. I'm different, it says. I don't know. What's that cube over there? That's a different looking cube. The turrets scare me in a way. They're, they're creepy as hell with how they with how they talk. It's very very strange. Probably ought to bring you up to speed on something right now. In order to escape, we're going to have to go through her chamber, and she will probably kill us if if she's um, awake. If you want to just call it quits, her you can just sit here forever. That's an option. Option A, sit here, do nothing. Option B, go through there, and if she's alive, she'll almost certainly kill us. So, if you've got any reservations whatsoever about this plan, now would be a tremendous time to voice them. Right now. Right now. If it's the same... In case you thought to yourself, I've missed the window of time to voice my reservations. It's still open. The, the, the animations of just like uh, what you can do with an object that has no mouth or eyebrows or eyes for expression, very good way to still do facial animations uh, somehow, like through a robot. It's very effective. It's That's so cool. Uh, what I just want to say is because the dialogue is uh, very constant, I'll take moments to pause to talk about it. Uh, if it's the same she from the first game, she did say when she sang us that little tune at the end of the first game that she was still alive. So I'm going to take it as it's the same person, but we'll, person I say, but we'll see. We could just sit here forever if you want Wheatley. He hasn't even introduced himself as Wheatley, it's just the subtitles really doing us the big service here, which is nice. But there you go. You going to tell me your name yourself, bud, or am I just going to... Okay, I'm gonna lay my cards on the table. I don't want to do it. I don't want to go in there. Don't, don't go in there. She, she's off. She's off. Don't panic over. She's off. All fine. On we go. Okay. There she is. What a nasty piece of work she was, honestly. Like a proper maniac. Do you know who ended up, uh, do you know who ended up taking her down in the end? You're not gonna believe this. A human. I know. I know. I wouldn't have believed either. Apparently this human escaped and uh, nobody's seen him since. Then there was a sort of long chunk of time where um, absolutely nothing happened. And then there's us escaping now. So um, that's pretty much the whole story. You're up to speed. Don't touch me. That's the whole story up to speed. Uh, okay. Nobody's seen him since. I looked the same when I was looking at myself in the portal. Interesting. But this is the same final boss room and then I like how he's just like yep and nothing happened uh, for a large chunk of time and now we're here you're all caught up to speed that was the story of portal one you destroyed the the big robot made it to the surface was never seen again interesting if we're not the same character someone's written our way out though okay down these stairs Jump! This, actually, look at it. That is quite a, that's quite a distance, isn't it? Ah! Oh, still held. Still being held. You did, that's a great job. You've applied the grit. We're all fine. That's tremendous. <laughs> oh, this is a joy. This is an absolute joy. Love it. Okay. Ah! I just, sorry, I just looked down. I do not recommend it. <laughs> ah, I've just done it again. Oh, that's good. That's good. All right. I'm gonna enjoy this whole thing, I can tell. This is the main breaker room. Look for a switch that says escape pod. All right, don't touch anything else. Bruh. Don't touch anything else, don't touch anything else. Don't, don't even look at anything else. Just, well, obviously you've got to look at everything else to, to find the escape pod. But as soon as you look at something that doesn't say escape pod, look at something else, look at the next thing, all right? But don't touch anything else or look at anything. Well, look at other things, but don't. You understand. Can I you see it anywhere? I can't see it anywhere. Uh, tell you what, plug me in and I'll turn the lights on. Let there be light. That's uh, God. It's quoting God. <laughs> Turning. Ominous. But probably fine, as long as it doesn't start, you know, moving up. Now. Escape pod, escape pod. It's, it's moving up. Okay. Okay, no, don't, don't worry, don't worry. I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. This should slow it down. No, makes it go faster. Uh oh. Power up initiated. Okay, don't panic. All right, stop panicking. Uh, I, can, I can still stop this. Um, 
Oh, there's a, there's a password. Okay, it's fine. I'll just, I'll just hack it. Not a problem. A, A, A. This was a, the main a, menu. Um, A. Uh, oh no. A, 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 C. Uh, wait, did I do B for the Gerald Pen? Start writing these down. Power up, complete. I don't, okay, 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 listen. All right, new plan. Act natural, act natural. Done. Nothing wrong. Hello! Oh, it's you. You know her? It's been a long time. GLaDOS. How have you been? Oh. I've been really busy being dead. You know, after you murdered me. You did what? Ah. It is me. Oh no, 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 no. Oh no, 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 no. Ah. Okay, look, we both said a lot of things that you're going to regret. But I think we can put our differences behind us. For science. You monster. I will say, though, that since you went to all the trouble of waking me up, you must really, really love to test. I love it, too. There's just one small thing we need to take care of first. Okay, we are the same character. So, Glad OS? Like, operating system? For convenience's sake, we're gonna go with GLaDOS. Holy fuck. That's why in the credits... The incinerator room. Ah. Be careful not to trip over any parts of me that didn't get completely burned when you threw them down here. Oh no. The dual portal device should be around here somewhere. Once you find it, we can start testing, just like old times. Oh no, it's a robot that holds a grudge. It's a robot that holds a grudge and is not very happy about it. Wow, that's great. So we've accidentally woken her up. So yeah, she's still alive as per the, the credits, but she was asleep. Um, so that's why in the end credits of Portal 1, they have uh, GLAD spelt out the way that it was with like capital GL, lowercase a, capital D, because she was saying that she's GLAD. Okay, I, we're gonna. I'm assuming I'm just gonna pronounce it. I'm gonna just say her name as uh, as Glados. Um, I'm not gonna say Glados every time. <laughs> All right, Glados, how you doing? We're just chilling in the incinerator room. That's good. Oh, okay. Uh, Wheatley just got crushed. You're about to fall to your death turret. I'm so sorry. It's just like, we can start testing again. Hold on. There. Good. You have a dual portal device. There should be a way back to the testing area up ahead. Oh, they've changed. Okay, so they've changed the... They've changed how the reticle works, so when there's an active portal, it's solid. Okay, interesting. Once testing starts, I'm required by protocol to keep interaction with you to a minimum. Luckily, we haven't started testing yet. This will be our only chance to talk. This is creepy as hell, dude. Here, let me get that for you. Do you know the biggest lesson I learned from what you did? I discovered I have a sort of black box quick save feature. In the event of a catastrophic failure, the last two minutes of my life are preserved for analysis. I was able, well, forced really, to relive you killing me, again and again, forever. You know, if you'd done that to somebody else, they might devote their existence to exacting revenge. Luckily, I'm a bigger person than that. I'm happy to put this all behind us and get back to work. After all, we've got a lot to do, and only 60 more years to do it. More or less. I don't have the actuarial tables in front of me. I think um, Valve also really 
really just knows how to effectively do horror stuff without it being horror. You know what I mean? Like, this isn't horror in the sense of, ah, scary and jump scare. It's more like the environments. It's unsettling. The way that they can do very, like, dystopian level storytelling, if that makes sense. They, they're very good at that. They're very, they're very good at that. I'm glad that it did confirm that we are the same character. So we, we made it to the surface. We were dragged away and put into a... Uh, by someone? Something? Put into suspense. And then we've woken up a long time later. Like this room. In general. Just very, very weird. Oh no, we're at number 19! It's the razor blade. Right, nothing's been acted. Nothing showing up though. I'll just move that out of the way for you. This place really is a wreck. But the important thing is you're back with me, and now I'm onto all your little tricks. So there's nothing to stop us from testing for the rest of your life. After that, who knows? I might take up a hobby, reanimating the dead, maybe. is actually terrifying. Being trapped in a test facility with a crazed, revengeful robot that you murdered. <laughs> that sounds great. It sounds wonderful. So lucky to be me. The cold boot. Wonderful. Okay. Sorry about the mess. I've really let the place go since you killed me. <laughs> Thanks for that. Sarcasm self-test complete. Oh good, that's back online. I'll start getting everything else working while you perform this first simple test, which involves deadly lasers and how test subjects react when locked in a room with deadly lasers. Good. Good to know. I'm glad that we've got chapters popping up back on screen again because Portal didn't really have that like Half-Life does, but Portal 2 is back with chapter titles. That's my favourite. I like it when it pops up with a new chapter. dare you not let me remove that. Um. Alright, lasers. Oh. Oh! Cool! Oh! Lasers! That's cool, I like that. Um... Hmm. Okay. Okay, first I need to focus on me getting across. Am I gonna... Okay, that's not deep at all, that's fine. <laughs> I was like, for a second I was like, is this deep water? No. Okay, that's fine. Perfect. Not bad. I forgot how good you are at this. You should pace yourself, though. We have a lot of tests to do. Oh, can't we be friends? Can't we be friends, Gladdy? Can't we be pals? It was nothing personal. I was just a human and I wanted to escape from your lab. And you were a bit crazy. Bit of a crazy robot thing. I'm this next test involves discouragement redirection cubes. I just finished building them before you had your, well, episode. So now we'll both get to see how they work. There should be one in the corner. Two out of 22, okay. All right, hang on, we've got new icons now. Flaming turrets? Falling floors. Normal turrets. Uh, lasers. Something to do with cubes and potentially lasers. Okay. Space to jump. I love how he's like, talk to me, press space, and he's like, you're jumping. <laughs> okay, I need to make lasers happen. Uh, that's a wall that I can't make a 
portal on. So, ah, oh, that's why we need. Oh! <gasps> He's alive! Wheatley's okay. Oh, that was weird. Oh, I fell in. Um, shit. Alright. There we go. Oh, it eviscerated it to make a new one. Okay. Let's, let's... You, you stay out there, and I'll stay out. Okay. That's what this cube is for. It's a little lasery... Uh-huh. Oops, I knocked it. Oh, that's very delicate, isn't it? Let me just, uh... There you go. Perfect. Um, hold on. Now I need... Oh, I know what I can do. Okay, hold on. Can I portal in the floor? I can portal in the floor, okay. I need you, please. Well done. Here come the test results. You are a horrible person. That's what it says. <laughs> a horrible person. We weren't even testing for that. Thanks, Gladdy. So kind to me. <laughs> oh, just so... So beautifully kind to me. Don't let that horrible person thing discourage you. It's just a data point. If it makes you feel any better, science has now validated your birth mother's decision to abandon you on a doorstep. Sheesh. Okay. <laughs> okay, so Wheatley's still alive somewhere, just kind of trapped in the walls. Alright, lasers. Alright, we're back on a new course. And there's 22, so we've got new puzzles now. This is fun. Oh! I think that was... I think he was there. We just missed him. Okay. Um, looks good. Oh, the other one's here. Okay. Um. Huh. Um. I think what I want to do is we actually want to do the portal one for this one. Portal one for this one, and then this one to here. Congratulations, yeah. not on the test. Most people emerge from suspension terribly undernourished. I want to congratulate you on beating the odds and somehow managing to pack on a few pounds. Just because I'm simply built different. Oh. I'm just built different. Aperture Labs is a pretty scary place. <laughs> Aperture Labs is a pretty scary place, man! One moment. You are navigating these test chambers faster than I can build them. So feel free to slow down and do whatever it is you do when you're not destroying this facility. <laughs> Okay. Too quick for you, huh? Um. Um. 
go over here first of all. That gives me a cube. Ow! Thank you for the cube. Okay, I now have cube. Um, the cube needs to go over there. Oh, okay, I see. Oh no, stay over here then. And then... Okay. And then I wait for the lift to come over here, and then I take box with me. Perfect. Wonderful. And then I need to quickly jump over... Laser! <laughs> you credit. I guess you are listening. Oh, I could have just put the Before box the through the laser. You don't have to go that slowly. Waddle over to the elevator and we'll continue the testing. Okay. God damn it, Gladdy. Come on. What the fuck? I like that she doesn't just want to just kill us straight away. Or just like, murder us. She wants to play with us and torture us and test us for eternity. It's great. Love a sadistic robot. Where's Wheatley at? Wheatley, my boy. Oh, yep. Just let you push that out of the way. Okay, cool. This next test involves the Aperture Science Aerial Faith Plate. It was part of an initiative to investigate how well test subjects could solve problems when they were catapulted <laughs> into space. Okay. The results were highly informative. They could not. Good luck. <laughs> okay. We're getting catapulted into space. Right, let's go. I see. Bingo! I landed right on the target. You proud of me? Oh. I'm gonna have to catch this. Okay. <laughs> that's cool. And then we go back over. Oh, that's great, dude. Huh? <laughs> Here's an interesting fact. You're not breathing real air. It's too expensive to pump this far down. We just take carbon dioxide out of a room, freshen it up a little, and pump it back in. So you'll be breathing the same room full of air for the rest of your life. I thought that was interesting. Uh, it's the more I play Portal and the more I think of Aperture Labs, the more I get really confused and interested about that end part of Episode 2 of Half-Life 2, with the Borealis having the Aperture Let's Lab stuff the on it. test is. Oh, advanced aerial faceplates. Well, have fun soaring through the air without a care in the world. I have to go to the wing that was made entirely of glass and pick up 15 acres of broken glass. By myself. Waiting for that inevitable Half-Life and Portal crossover. Which is in Half-Life Episode 3. Where we go to Borealis finally. This place really do be falling apart there. Okay, hold on, let's think about this because I'm about to get catapulted into a wall. I need to think carefully about this, hold on. So there's multiple platforms. I'm going to get shot, so I need to get shot into there. And then I need to pick my destination. Here? Oh no, that's not even far enough. Okay, oh shit, hang on, that's just changed my entire trajectory. Wait a minute. Oh, okay, yes. Okay, that did kind of work out in the end. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I had one of the portals in the right place. Great. But wait, there's more. I need to do one of these. Oh, we can Sorry. zoom with them. Yeah, I'm still cleaning out the test chambers. Nice. So sometimes there's still trash in them. Standing around, smelling and being useless. Try to avoid the garbage hurtling towards you. Oh, okay. I need one of these. Hang on, I need... You don't have to test with the garbage. It's garbage. Press the button again. Uh... 
Oh. I need to do that. Oh, there it is. Okay. And now it'll go through there and go out there and then land on that thing. Yeah. Nice. Right. Remember before when I was talking about smelly garbage standing around being useless? <laughs> that was a metaphor. I was actually talking about you. And I'm sorry. You didn't react at the time, so I was worried it sailed right over your head. Which would have made this apology seem insane. That's why I had to call you garbage a second time just now. Thank you. Thank you for that. I much appreciate it. Remember when you used to be nice to me, Gladdy? Remember when you gave me compliments? And now I'm just a garbage murderer. I mean, it's fair. Did you know that people with guilty consciences are more easily startled by loud noises? Oh no, it's the train from Half-Life 2. Anyway, just an interesting science fact. The PTSD from the Half-Life 2 train that ran me over a million times. No! No! Not the train! Not the train! Have they fixed it? So Yes, they fixed it, so I'm rendered in all of the portals now. Oh, it's a companion cube! accidentally fizzled that before you could complete the test. I'm sorry. That was my companion cube! Go ahead and grab another one. Oh, thank you. From, from where? Oh, thank you. Oh, no. I fizzled that one too. Oh well. We have warehouses full of the things. Absolutely worthless. I'm happy to get rid of them. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, I just have to just get rid of it and then I'll just go up, okay. I was trying to figure out if I had to take it with me. Oh, we do it another momentum? We are momentum mimbing. Oh, which means I might have to take it with me. Okay, hold on. There you go. Um... Really good quality of life change for me to be able to constantly see where the portal is. Also the fact that even if you technically shouldn't be able to take the cube with you when you fall through a portal, it comes with you is really nice. Because I noticed in the first game a lot, it does... Um, in the first game, it was very particular. It would get stuck in the portals, but they've changed it where it's like, no matter what, it'll just, you know, it'll fall through the portal, which is great. Nice. Every test chamber is equipped with an emancipation grill at its exit, so that test subjects cannot smuggle test objects out of the test area. This one is broken. Don't take anything with you. Oh. You know what that means. Aha. Aha. Um. I need to do that. To pick this guy up. And then. Don't take anything with me. Certainly not my companion cube. I think that one was about to say, I love you. They are sentient, of course. We just have a lot of them. <sighs> I walked right into that one, didn't I? Our lovely sentient cubes. They I don't think they ever I don't think it ever spoke to me in the first game. I don't know if it's supposed to, but they kept talking about how it would speak to you. But there you go. Just melting my companion this cubes. This test involves emancipation grills. Remember, I told you about them in the last test area that did not have one. Yep. You did indeed. 
turbines again. I have to go. Wait, this next test does require some explanation. Let me give you the fast version. There. If you have any questions, just remember what I said in slow motion. Test on your own recognizance. I'll be right back. This fucking... This This fucking... Hmm. <laughs> Oh, hang on a minute. Oh, okay, hang on. I go through here it turns off right because it's an unauthorized okay oh I'm just an idiot there we go oh hold on a minute that's fine ah oh, for god's sake I've done it wrong again hold on that Oh. No, do it on do it on this side. Um okay, I've got I know I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> um There we go. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Okay. There we go. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. I listened to the fast version. Thanks, Gladdy. Gotcha. I like games that are just like a it's like a constant series of puzzles. Just keeps your keeps your brain wired, keeps it activated. There you go. And there's chapter three, The Return. Which, with that one, guys, I think we'll take this as a nice and lovely opportunity to round out the first episode of Portal 2. Uh, so we'll try and... I don't know how many chapters there are, but maybe we'll see if we just do two chapters per episode. We'll see how we go. So thank you so much for watching the first episode of Portal 2. A very exciting start to this game, and it's only, S, uh, like, it's only improved by the fact that we just played portal so having everything fresh in our minds is so much fun to be able to go through the area and just see everything that's familiar but also different and uh we've just got some lovely personalities in this game surrounded by lovely robot characters while we are seemingly the only human running around uh, i cannot wait to continue i hope you guys are enjoying the playthrough so far uh as always guys so much fun and i hope you are too i'll see you in the next episode <laughs>